Welcome everyone back to Experts on Call. My name is Judy Dang, and today I have a special guest, Kate Jones. Welcome, Kate. Yes, I'm glad to be here, Judy. Thanks for creating this opportunity. Well, Thanks very friend. much. <laughs> Absolutely. So Kate is a body-centric life coach. I know I know we, a lot of people know what life coaching is, but body-centric life coaching. Right. What is that exactly? Uh, Judy, because I've had a long history in the field of somatics, somatics being the, <clears throat> the study of and the appreciation of that our physical systems, we are at, at the fundamental level, we are <clears throat> animals, living organisms, very complex, very ornate, mysterious organisms, and we are born in bodies. <clears throat> right? We live in bodies. There's a reason for the body to be here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's not just like a car and you rotate the tires. It's a living, extraordinary, mysterious, interactive system that's really a profound operating system. Mm. And um, we haven't understood that because okay. um, I just want to say this. It, it, do, you, do you realize it was the Renaissance uh, in which thinking was on the ascendancy and they that's when the suppression of the body and the the our instincts our instincts and our sensual understandings became suppressed uh-huh pretty, pretty yeah that reminds me like most of the time i operate like above my neck every you know everything is like <laughs> up here and everything down here like i'm not in tune aware of what goes on below my neck that's really that's exactly i think that's the exact outcome of of how we've been trained as a cultural biases of postmoderns and moderns um and that's precisely why it's body-centered life coaching because if we're going to live in right alignment with our purpose we need to have the sensory confirmation and engagement from our heart, from our gut that says, yeah, I'm on the right track. This feels right. This, is, this makes me happy. This lifts my heart. This lifts my spirits. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a deeper conviction of knowing that I'm in the right place at the right time. Or alternatively, Something's not sitting right with me. My gut says, you know. Bingo, 100% guidance system from your operating system saying, beep, 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 Judy, <laughs> pay attention. Pay attention, pay attention. wake up. Okay. Something, you're off course. Something needs your attention. Got it. You know, if, if we were, if we thought of ourselves as uh, great astronauts managing our operating system as we travel through space and time, we would be course correcting consistently, wouldn't we? Consistent, yeah, with the body, mind, heart, all in one integrated unit. Have you ever right. noticed that your head is over your heart and your heart is over your pelvis? Have you ever noticed that? Not, con not consciously, not, I didn't give it any thought. Yeah. And yeah. do you know that your gut, this is really interesting, the gut is firing information up to your brain consistently. Um, it's neuroception, it's called neuroception. And it's, it's where your system is organized, uh, uh, Judy, to read, it's doing it right now, reading several layers of inputs of data coming in to your operating system, neuroception. It, oh. it operates below the level of conscious thinking. Okay. But it's informing you, like when I when when your pin dropped off the table just now. Yeah. You're a whole flurry of things fired off, right? Like oops and embarrassment, and that shouldn't happen. And now I've got to leave the you know all this negotiation. Your body went was right there with you. And then you recovered, you follow? So it's, um, it's, and we're 
I just want to say the reason I'm emphasizing uh, when I took up this path many years ago, body being a body centered life coach, it's if we could live in harmony or in a respectful relationship with what our heart is telling us, mm. what the gut is expressing it needs, we would be living different lives. Wow, that's powerful. Think about that. Think about that. And, th and think about that even now in this uh, sequester period, this sheltering in place, this time out. It, it, it can cut two ways. When there's this much, uh, you could say, in a certain way, silence, mm -hmm. we, we can either reorient to ourselves and become more deeply engaged but if we never knew how to do that, we will try to fill up the time and the silence with more behaviors that stir the pot, right? We, we uh -huh. don't do well yet as a culture in silence. Uh -huh. we, we, we've forgotten how to do that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you help people reconnect with that, reorient people to I, themselves deeply yeah that's my prayer that's my mm -hmm. that's part of my intention wow so, you know I, the vision i have that's actually the vision i have for the world what's that i wrote it down again this morning my vision is to be in a world of embodied persons living mindfully with the earth and one another creatively and in peace Oh, can you read that again? Yeah, my, uh, it's my vision for my work is to live in a world of embodied persons living mindfully with the earth and with one another creatively and in peace. Wow, that encompasses so much. So can you help us with a few tips on how to re-engage with our bodies and ourselves again well what's the first thing you hear when you listen to anyone say anything about managing stress breathe yes. <laughs> right <laughs> breathing is to to mindfully bring attention or to intentionally come back to the fact that we are breathing organisms right and again, it's autonomic in the nervous system. We, you don't have to think about breathing yourself. Something else is breathing for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when we can bring our awareness to the movement of this inhalation, this exhalation, and begin to participate, like very often I'll say to my clients, sit in your favorite chair, set a timer for 12 minutes, and come home to your breathing. Pure mm -hmm. and simple. Come and home to your breathing. by doing, yeah, did I interrupt you? No, go ahead. Come oh, home to your breathing. Thank you. The, I'm repeating. The point, the point there is, why, why do that is the question. And uh, the reason is, is that when we participate with the movement of the inhalation and exhalation, we're balancing the autonomic nervous system. Remember in, in class years ago, you learned that there's a fight flight part of the nervous system and there is a rest and digest part of the nervous system, right? Uh, that's the sympathetic branch is fight and flight. Mm -hmm. it, it gets us in motion. And the sympathetic, uh, sorry, parasympathetic aspect branch is rest and digest. And we, we want to be for health, just at the level of our heart rate and our digestion and the health of our cells and our organs. We want to be the bulk of the time in parasympathetic function. That's nature's balance. Mm. And that's why when, but, what we, where we live as a culture is we live way over in the sympathetic. 
We make food choices that promote sympathetic function. Our, all our media engagements, if we're not mindful, throw us movies we watch, the news for God's sake, it, it makes us go right into fight flight. Wow, okay. We're way out of balance as a culture. So come home, regard. come home to your breathing, first step. First step, and you'll, you'll start to calibrate your ANS, your autonomic nervous system. Go ahead. And you'll mm -hmm. turn on that parasympathetic function. And guess what? Oh boy, big, big idea. You start to feel like you're home, that uh, you're in the middle of your life again. Uh, and you have options and that time will slow down and you can begin to have a greater capacity to weigh and measure the value of where you're going and what you're doing. Right. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, what's the best way to get in contact with you, Kate, if I want oh, to learn more about what I love. Uh, I love to receive a text. Okay, text. And, uh, I, and I, that's my first favorite. 415. 415-613-6507. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, and, um, you know, <laughs> you have it written down? Yes. These are my oh, notes. look at that. Right? <laughs> Come home. You made a little picture of a house. I like it. And uh, that's right. You could text, call me at that number. And, of course, um, I have an email address. So let's um, stay with the text. I text think let's say, okay. that's kind of the, be the most okay. direct. 415-613-6507. That's it. Uh, are we out of time for our little interview? We are set. Thank you so much for sharing today. Come home to our breathing. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. Thank you.